Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. I am the wife and I have the husband here. We are shaking bird seed actually a little bit early this time. We actually recommend that you shake your bird seed, your WBS, at 30 and 60 percent. However, we had this cold snap <laughs> and we wanted to make sure that everything was nice and hydrated and looking good. So the husband is going to be looking at each jar and I thought we could answer some of your questions. So one of the questions that many of you have has been about the bird seed. And that is, what do we mean by two five minute boils? Well, it's just that. You don't want to cook your bird seed. You want to rinse it, clean it, and hydrate. You need it to be moisturized. Lots of moisture in there. And we've also been adding gypsum to the last batch of bird seed as we rinse it. So we rinse our bird seed many, many, many times. And then just the last time that we rinse it, we add a tablespoon of gypsum now. Some of our jars really didn't seem like there was any colonization. And these are straight from agar. So you can actually some of, see some of our agar transfers right here. Most of the time we use liquid mycelium from our liquid cultures. However, we had a few different types that we had on agar plates and we would have just wasted it if we had not put it to bird seed. So we recommend two five minute boils instead of a 20 minute boil on the bird seed, just so you don't cook the bird seed. And we rinse it in between. So we do a five minute boil, stirring continuously, not to cook it. And then we rinse it and do it again. But this past year, this past year we have not been boiling our bird seed at all and it's gone really well. And you can see right here, we did not boil this. We, of course, do a pressure cook, but we wanted to show you this bird seed because this is actually Walmart bird seed. We had some problems with the Lowe's bird seed and buying bird seed outside. And so we went back to this very inexpensive Walmart songbird bird food, bird seed. And it has been really, really great easy, low cost. Some of you ask why we use smaller bird seed jars and it's because we spread out the risk or sometimes we don't want to grow in bulk. I mean there's some organic gourmet and medicinal mushrooms that we just don't need a whole lot of so we use smaller WBS or grain jars for those. And as you can see, when we do more live videos, <laughs> there's so much more that goes into making these videos. And so we like being able to do this for you, for those of you that like this kind of content. So let's talk about how we've been doing our bird seed this past year. We've actually been just really soaking it. So doing a really good rinse and then soaking it for three to five hours. Anything more than a five hour soak seems like it's an over soak. It starts fermenting. So three to five hours in a soak, we rinse it three times. So we do a really good tap water rinse and then we do a purified water, distilled water soak stirring it. We do that again three to five times over three to five hours and the last time that we soak we put a tablespoon of gypsum in it and it's been working really well. So no boiling, 
but the two five minute boils is a much faster way to prepare your bird seed. And then we pressure cook. So husband, how long do we pressure cook these jars? Two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes at 15 PSI. And for many of you, you see that we use a duo crisp model of the Instapot. That's the duo crisp only model. And there's a scientific study on that. And it is perfect for home mycology. Again, that is a specific model that has the pressure cooking feature. WBS and bird seed is just so perfect for so many types of mushrooms. I mean, just so many different types of mushrooms. Again, we recommend that you shake your jars at 30 and 60%. We're doing it a little bit early because we had a cold snap in our cabinet and the husband just wants to take a look at everything. So we're almost finished here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking. We love hearing from you in the comments. The husband <laughs> replies to your comments. And I actually have another YouTube channel at Lucid Life Vibes. I do meditative ASMR and meditations. And I also have podcast over on Spotify at Lucid Life Vibes. So thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you again. Much love.